Shuttle's time. Let's have a look and see if these are any different than what we've had before. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph with another Star Trek The Next Generation. US, this is from the, the Build USS Enterprise D collection. This is a two shuttle set. I assume by it saying set one that we will be getting more. There are quite a few shuttles from Next Generation from the Enterprise D anyway. The whole thing with this is it comes in a nice big solid. This is quite heavy. We have had shuttles before, but what a noise, but, but, not really noise, but what's kind of concerning me a little bit is we've had these already we've had the Goddard and we've had the it wasn't the El Baz we had which is what the thing is with it is we've had a Goddard with the first um, shuttle pike that they did for the, the official Starship collection and it's it's definitely the Goddard didn't have a number on it or whatever but the other one the actual type 15 the shuttle pod was actually the um, wasn't the El Baz it was I'm trying to look at my own video but the um, I've got the television the wrong resolution but it was shuttle pod 2 whereas this is shuttle pod 5 the El Baz which is part of the oh was it the Times Squared episode with Picard who died in the uh, yeah but it's a nice little packaging nice little artwork and stuff so yes let's get into this and then oh no I always like to open one side on these unfortunately I always leave glue residue behind but not this time ah it's not done right so two shuttles that came with this I'm expecting them being about sort of that big same as what they had before I mean yeah they've probably just done one of these as the El Baz instead of the I don't honestly I cannot tell what it was but let's have a look inside shall we so the El Baz comes out first Ooh, hold on Hello. There's more to this than we thought. Okay. That's a surprise. The size wise on these are. Yeah. The other ones were literally probably about that big in my hand. I was actually hoping these would have fitted inside the Enterprise D kit that I'm building. Scratch on the front there from production. Thanks, Eagle Moss. So let's get into. Oh, that's still sealed anyway, barely sealed. So let's get these to one side. We'll look at those in a second. We'll go through the magazines to start with. We'll start off with the Elbaz shuttle. So here we are. Um, yeah, we've probably seen these before on the other models anyway. I'm not sure if there's an acudogram in the bottom of these. If it's the same as before or not, we'll find out. So yeah, first scene in the most toys. Go. Cool. Last seen in Second Sight. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, want to pause and read if you want. If not, go buy your own. That's what I'll say. <laughs> I'm not condoning not buying these, but yeah, they're, they're, some of these look pretty good. And for the size wise on them, it's actually, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the size. For a big, nice, decent size shuttlecraft, which is the same scale as the proper, yeah the proper official Starship collection. So some nice little pictures in here, that's an acudogram, but we do get a transparency in the shuttle packs that were with the um, Eagle Moss. Yeah, shuttle pod 15, different episodes it was in. I mean, there never seems to be much room for equipment. I mean, you've got your warp cell here, if it is a warp cell, but yeah, you've got your cockpit, your controls, Finish as directed, right, so that's going to be as on there anyway for the number, different number, different shuttle. Time squared, obviously there, I think I've missed a page, yeah, there we go. So a door there, it probably is all behind here is all the, the parts for the actual gubbins and stuff for working the shuttle, because you should probably go straight into here and there's the chair and that's it. That part there is all engineering, should we say. Also available, yeah, so we know we've got all them. They're all on the channel anyway, if you want to see them and reviewed pretty much well, most of them shall we say there's only a few that I'm actually missing due to other circumstances shall we say basically being skint <laughs> so Goddard shuttle I do like this shuttlecraft they actually had this shuttlecraft in Voyager as well 
And I hope they're going to see a Voyager in there eh? as well, and Magellan. Scotty had a shuttle for this as well, for the Type 6. It's quite nice, really. But this one is the Goddard. Again, you go through the back and you've got all this storage base or benches and in the cockpit area. Nothing on there which shows that there's anything engineering y sort of. And this is supposed to be a walk capable shuttle. Okay, something probably built into the walls then. Okay. You don't really, really see, but that's fine. Ah, we have Voyager with Neelix showing all the episodes that it was actually in. Oh, and more. And in Generations as well, right at the end. That's quite nice to see. Okay. Figuring out the episodes. It was a quite um, uh, prevalent in, in Voyage before they brought out the uh, Delta Flyer, weren't it? Okay. More diagram. And on screen. Suspicions, yes, yeah, where Beverly went in with the shield into the corona of a star. Yeah, I know. It's all a little bit far-fetched. But it's Star Trek, we don't care. So I'm gonna have to cut this one open and then peel off the label later. Same with this one. Done. Elbas to start with, shall we? Right. I, mean, I do like these these open front boxes. I mean, they are probably, I'm guessing, exactly the same innards than the original ones. Yeah, because they all just came like that in a box. Ah, we do have the Akudogram too. So the stand for the Akudogram, and we have this. I'm guessing that this is just exactly the same as before. Shuttlecraft. It's nice transparency that you see through. I've never opened any of mine. I don't, I would like to display it. And we're having two of these now. It might not be a bad idea to start displaying them. So, oof, that is really heavy. Got the same stand as the proper ones. Actually, you haven't. You've got these little nubbins on. Oh, that's heavy. Nubbins on there to stop it falling off, is it? So you go that way or that way? That way. So it will go on the stand and it will not balance right. So it might go there. Ah, no. Yes, no. Yes, yes. Oh, God, this is. It's cold in the garage today. But this is. Oh, the whole top section of this. Is it? Yeah, the whole section above the black line is metal. That's really, really nice. Have they spelt it right? Enterprise, yes. Good, getting the shuttles right this time. It's very basic. Very, very basic. But I really like... There's a bit of... It's like I said, it's been cold in here. I'm getting a little bit of condensation on this as soon as I've opened it. A little bit of paint over on this cell. But that is... The size. I mean, the shuttlecraft on the last one. I was expecting a smaller, a, a, probably exactly the same as what they had before, hoping that would be redone. With the Elbaz, yes, it's a different name, different number than the one before it. The Goddard is exactly the same number as what we had before. However, it is a lot bigger ship. Just before I put onto the Goddard, Making a noise there. Anybody with the numbers, 2552A slash A. So it's still a first run. Let's get into the Goddard. It is awkward trying to get into these without ripping them. And I've not torn any yet. Oh, this is... This might require a cut. Not as in, in the cardboard, but as it... Oh, there we go. Give them birth. Desk is full of boxes. Right, there we go. So another Kudogram inside with a stand. Can't see it too well, but you get the impression that that is what it is. You can light these from behind. They're really, really interesting. Like the uh, desk sort of graphics that Denise and Michael Okuda did for the show in general. And this one is a 1389A slash A. So quite a low number, but still... Yeah. It's not a 1701 or a 0001. Never mind. This has got a lot more detail on. Oh, and I love the clear part on there. The clear blue section for the inner cell. Ooh, this is really nice. Shuttlecraft 15. 
a bit of scratching on there on the window but uh, this isn't a review of my specific one this is just what if you want to go out and buy one I'm not I'm not plugging Eagle Moss I like buying these because they are really good so size wise yeah they, they are pretty much sized as a standard yeah standard shuttle these are really really nice if I can get a little bit closer and show you better there we go nice um, red marker light on the side thruster pike looks a little bit um, out of line got hard is that actually the font for the original series just straightened up looks like it to me hmm. so we have this really nice you could you could quite easily as well because there's a join line right there through the middle of the cell put some really small leds in this as i've seen that there's actually some leds that have just been brought out we've got a coil and then a tiny little led on top and as long as they're near a, a like a charging a wireless charging platform sort of coil it will light up so putting a few inside these would be really good to do as a lit model there's not much else lit on these there would have been impulse engines around here anyway which sometimes light up but if it's in space dock or if it's in the shuttle bay then it won't be lit up that's actually quite nice looks like a big fat shuttle that you could do stuff with i like that so let's get on to the elbaz again different type of shuttle i suppose modifications of these you could potentially cut out the windows and maybe um, put some darkened in there and, and put a cabin inside really and the cells obviously not as much as so i wouldn't have thought actually but was wasn't there a starship with these sort of designed nacelles it wasn't the, not the curry or there was one of the um, model kits which kind of was between um, Kirk and Picard eras unless these are just the impulse engines I don't know you thought these would be the impulse engine on here anyway very plain and flat on the bottom not really much there I don't know what that is if it's just a hidey hole to look forward like a window sensor array just black well, these would be the sensor band all the way around anyway. I'm, I am impressed in a way that these are the size they are. I mean, that's actually pretty good size wise. So, I, like I said, I was expecting the same scale as before, which I think they're about probably that big. So, they are at least double the size of them. But again, not much detail, but these are. <laughs> spot on i'd love to display these yeah these were definitely worth it i think these were 30 pound for a subscriber i assume they're going to put them in the shop pretty soon because it's just for the the subscribers for the enterprise d build but i'd really really like these. If, if you do come across these for sale then i would definitely grab all of them if you've got the original shuttle packs there's actually a, i think there's an eighth shuttle pack or is it a seventh a new one coming out soon i'm not exactly keen on that one because it's, it's not got federation ships it's going more of the alien sort of shuttle but you know i'll probably end up buying it when eventually no immediate rush to get it just yet but we will one day i think both of the um insignias look different on these even though they were kind of of the same ship the same era just looks slightly bit different that one looks more like the original enterprise the, the um, refit enterprise actually they both do hmm unless it's just now i'm saying unless it's eagle moss's idea of keeping things straight but it isn't they're meant to be a little bit offset on them anyway I mean, maybe that was an insignia before the enterprise um uh, next generation started who knows but um yeah i'm quite i'm quite happy with these very happy for the price assuming they do go into the shop and they are sold they'd then eventually be down for um for a bargain or whatever so keep your eye out i suppose 
for at the minute, if you're a subscriber, you can buy these. If you're not, you can't. So, with that in mind, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. If you want to help out the channel, donations for anything, or be a patron and help out the channel with a little bit of little bit of cash that you're just you know lying around and help out to, to keep me going a little bit longer. It's all very graciously accepted. Thank you. So, with that in mind. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. And I've just figured out from my own video, the other one for the Elbaz was the Aldrin. Yeah. Should have actually listened to my own video instead of just watching it. Bye for now.